Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General Reading. This is for the element of Earth. So if you're a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, uh, these messages are for you for the weekend of August 7th through 9th, 2020. Um, so I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Um, also, please keep in mind these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Uh, those of you that are wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below. Um, but payments and orders are collected on Fridays uh, for video and email readings. All right, so we have the central issue or heart of the matter, two of cups, the ace of swords, the knight of wands, we have the four of wands, the Nine of Coins, the Tower, the Emperor, and the Three of Coins. All right, so, hmm, interesting. I see a couple of things happening here. Um, you guys are making some sort of connection. It could be a romantic connection, it could be a business connection, or it might be some a mix of business and pleasure. Um, we do have some disruptions going on though, so that something can start over, um, or if something starts off with a weak foundation, it will fall apart so that you can, you know, start over right then and there. So the thing is that I'm getting either, I feel like there's a breakup going on, but the breakup is not what's being highlighted. So maybe the breakup is something that um, is getting ready to happen or has happened in the past, or because you make some sort of new love connection, it triggers a breakup. So I feel like there's someone that you have been communicating with or you receive a message from this person and the feeling is mutual. It's, I feel like it's going to be confirmed that you and this person have been thinking about each other. Um, there's definitely some sort of strong attraction. And I feel that someone is also standing out from other people's like maybe you feel that you've never connected with someone like this and and you have like a new insight on you know love life relationships see I feel like somebody is coming out of a relationship though because I feel like someone now now has successfully moved on and has their independence and is ready to move forward. I mean, it could be a new relationship where you guys hit it off so well, you decide that it's time to move in together. It could be something like that. But I'm, I, I feel like there is independence. Like people are gaining their independence and now are able to um, date. Matter of fact, in a love situation, if you are connecting with someone, if you've just started getting to know somebody, you guys are getting ready to take that to the next level. Um, so, you know, whatever that is, is, it's like something, the relationship is being established and being taken to the next level. It, even if it was just a simple hello, like maybe there's someone that you've been seeing and you're like, I'm interested in that person, but I haven't spoken to them. I feel like it's a first. Something's going to be a first. It's like, oh, okay, now you guys have actually communicated or interacted for the first time. If you've already been dating, maybe now you guys are uh, going on your first date or you're, you know, you're kissing for the first time. If it's, you know, it could be sexual. Maybe you're having sex for the first time with this per person. So something just seems to be a first. Um, if it's business related, I feel like you may have found the perfect job that you're passionate about. It might be something that you're also starting from home. Um, so it could be that, you know, you, you met the right um, people 
that gave you the right type of information to go ahead and get something started. So that would be where your focus is going. If you did a job interview, I feel like they loved you and they're going to offer you some sort of position. So the, the tower also to me just indicates that something something new is starting out of, out of the blue or very unexpectedly. Love situation definitely looks like chemistry, having some sort of strong uh, chemistry with someone. You can hear each other's thoughts. It's like you can just feel each other's energies. You think about them and they call. Very intense connection. Um, uh, it's, it's the type of love that really just changes everything. Maybe you were someone that felt like you would never fall in love again or you didn't believe in love, but this person is going to change your complete perception of love. Um, now, I also feel that, yeah, so much to the point where maybe somebody said, I'm never getting married, but here you are discussing and talking about marriage here with the, the Hierophant here. Um, and really like putting putting things into place and and talking about things really seriously So you might meet someone that just changes your whole perspective on love and marriage um, Maybe you feel so close to someone that you decide to elope with them This looks you know the Hierophant four of wands something also it just looks very unexpected and then signing some sort of document and you know going into a union together and there's a third person, but it's more so like the witness. So definitely, and it's so unexpected, so unexpected. There also could be some sort of uh, sudden changes to your home. Something could break in the home and you might need some sort of repair. Something seems like damage control. Maybe you have to ha call somebody over the weekend to fix something that broke in the house. Could be pipes, could be electrical, could be a rodent problem. Um, but I feel that, you know, either way, something might need to be addressed in a home. Financially, if you've been wanting to get, get out on your own, I feel like you will... Uh, be doing that over the weekend. I don't know if you were, you know, maybe living with parents or had roommates and you're just like, I just want to be on my own. I feel like you would get that. You have enough money to move out or your roommate is moving out, but it's okay because you can take care of the place by yourself. Matter of fact, somebody's roommate might be moving out because they fell in love and they're like, oh, I'm moving in with my boyfriend or my girlfriend. So you could suddenly lose a roommate Hmm. I also feel that the truth is going to come out in a situation. Someone also might be forced to admit something like, yes, it was true. Yes, it's true. So I feel like the truth is coming out, but by force, maybe. Hmm. Or it could be that somebody got caught and then it's just like, okay, I can't deny it. You caught me red handed. You're like, yeah, it's true. It's true. Mm. Hmm. This is good for those of you that are wanting to start your own business or wanting to um, buy your home. Some Somebody might be a first time home buyer. I feel like some of you guys are also um, repairing your credit. You're doing things to prepare your independence, prepare yourself for purchasing uh, your first home. You might be getting prepared for marriage. You might come across somebody and feel so connected with them that you're like, oh my God, this is the person that I can see a future with. Like I saw a whole future flash before my eyes. So you might feel that passionately or that strongly about someone that you're connecting with over the weekend. Hmm. You also might have some um, unexpected views in regards to spirituality or religion. 
maybe something's going to uh, be revealed to you in regards to um, society or just uh, religious beliefs are being shifted or obliterated even. Maybe you're like, I'm leaving a church. Now, I also see somebody being initiated. And, it, you know, this might be an extreme example, but I'm seeing something about um, like a cult leader or being nominated to take the lead of something. Now, if there was any anything taboo going on, love related, I feel like it's coming out. So if there was an affair, I feel that the affair is going to be confirmed um, or be uh, exposed. I feel if someone was um, gay, bisexual, or fluid, in any way, shape, or form, I feel like that will be coming out. If someone has not been happy, I feel like they're forced to just say, I'm not happy. Mm, spiritually, I don't know, something could be revealed to you in a dream. And you just feel like you, you don't believe in... Uh, society or the the like structured belief systems something that you grew up believing um, I feel like you no longer believe in those same values maybe you looked up to someone and you were like you're disappointed by when the truth comes out Okay, so those of you that are very intuitive, I feel like you're definitely having some sort of premonition or a very lucid dream that is very telling of the future um, or something that you've been wondering about, something that you've been suspicious about. Like if you thought somebody else was having a baby or if you thought somebody had a, another family um, or whatever your wildest dreams are or your wildest um suspicions are i feel that it's going to come out or be confirmed like you see something in a dream and you're like man that was a crazy dream but i think it's some truth to it also the tower looks like some sort of emotional breakdown I feel like somebody, if you were having like a very hard time trying to let go or move on from somebody, I feel that someone comes into your life that just makes you forget about the troubles that you were having and you become very fixated or focused on this new love interest. Mm. If you have been looking at someone through rose tinted glasses, I also feel that um, I feel like that is going to be exposed as well, like their faults. All right, let me look at this Two of Cups. I'm getting strong moving in or moving out. If you have been waiting on a job to hear back from a job, I feel like you finally get a start date. Okay, so I'm getting like Robert Kennedy Jr. I don't know what that has to do with anything.
project, some sort of project, some sort of spiritual project or, hmm. So some of you might be really curious about science and researching some sort of project that has to do with either dreaming, time traveling, um, or something also, it seems very spiritual, something also seems highly romanticized. Maybe some of you are doing research about soulmates and twin flames. Some of you are ignoring the naysayers and doing, you're following your heart. So I feel like you guys are definitely following your heart, following your passions. And by you following your passions, it's leading to healing. Like you're being healed because you're following or, or staying true to your heart. Anything that you were torn about, I feel that the best thing to do is to ignore anybody's opinions, even if they mean well. Do what you think you need to do because that's what's going to bring you victory. That's what's going to get you um, to your destination and bring you success is by toning, tuning everyone out and following your own desires. All right, let me also just look at the three of coins. Now, some of you will be entering a, a relationship with someone that you work with. I don't know if it's a coworker or a client, but um, something is supposed to be professional and that also could be the taboo thing that I was picking up on. Um, something's supposed to be professional and it, it, it ends up being very romantic or you and your romantic partner are turning things and turning something into a professional business. See, and I just said that that's something about taboo and I had a quick flash in my head. Like some of you couples are like, hey, let's make money off of, you know, let's start our own website and let people, you know, pay us for this and that. And so you're making money off your personal love life. Uh, especially if it has something to do with sexuality. You guys are having clarity. Um, or you are going to be inspired with this idea. Maybe you're not necessarily starting this business this weekend, but this is the discussion and you're making some sort of arrangements or agreements with your love interests and you guys are like, let's do this. We can make money in this way. And I, I feel like it's a good business plan. Now, it, and it's, it's not your traditional way of making money. So it's definitely something taboo. And it also could end up hurting people that are close to you. Um, but at the same time, you're like, I don't care. This is my life. This is our life. We're, this is what works for us. I also feel that it's going to be confirmed about a crush. Someone that you've been crushing on or fantasizing about is gonna to speak to you. And uh, I feel like maybe you're gonna think you're crazy at first. You're like, they didn't really mean that. They were just being nice. I feel like, no, there was some sort of flirtatious undertones and they do feel, um, they do feel that the feeling is um, mutual or you will feel fine that the feeling is mutual. Maybe you doubted it at first, but I feel like it's gonna be confirmed. People are going to be coming to you for advice. This is definitely the time to focus on a passion project. Some of you are also maybe developing, um, developing a new financial system like, like Bitcoin. Like somebody might be trying to figure out how to establish 
some sort of new financial institution or even a, a platform like maybe someone is fed up with Facebook or Instagram and somebody's like taking matters into their own hands and they're like I'm starting my own platform I do get something about government And I know I've been talking like the emperor is like the hierophant, but I always get that energy when I use this deck. I it's it's like it has that emperor the the hierophant energy in the emperor card for me. So this also tells me that whoever you are connecting with romantically your pursuer planned this uh, somebody planned this all alone you might work for your love interests or they work for you i also feel that someone has a strong sexual nature is very dominating and having the courage to speak their mind. Mm -hmm. I feel like for some of you, you, you do feel like somebody is your soulmate or you are excited or motivated about someone who feels like a soulmate. I feel like some of you are wanting to start something over. So let's pull some energy cards for you guys. All right, additional messages for Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, we have Angel of Balance, the Garden and a Gate, Door to Spirit, Overall Energy, Financial Constraints. All right, so this is indicating that there could have been something that maybe you feel like you don't have or there's been some sort of lack of something. I find though that you're going to find whatever it is that you feel that you were lacking. Um, it's a matter of of balance or balance is going to be restored in your life. So whatever you felt like you didn't have enough of is going to balance out and you will have that. Um, some of you, I also see you putting something out for your ancestors. Those of you that uh, have any type of spiritual practices where you have an altar um, or you're making some sort of offering. So some of you, I feel like you're making some sort of offering uh, to your ancestors. I also see someone symbolically leaving a door or a window open in hopes that blessings will come through or spirit will come through. Um, and it does seem like it works. I feel like you are going to experience something more so spiritual or metaphysical over the weekend too. Or maybe you're realizing what's missing is not material, but spiritual uh, or even emotional. And it's funny because this two different doors are open and it just seems to align like this side, we have the left door swung open over here and then the right door is swung open over here. So it's, it's kind of weird how that is happening. It looks like two things are like something is opening up and making a new opportunity for you. Something is guiding you to just keep going 
Maybe you were wanting a sign or confirmation of something and I feel like you'll have it. Make sure that you are listening to your spirit guides. If you're doing any type of uh, road unblocking spells or uh, things of that sort, I feel like it's going to help or manifest. Matter of fact, I feel that something is just waiting for you to go through the door. Like the opportunity already exists. It's just a matter of you acknowledging that and then going through that door. So here you are having to make that decision. You might be wondering uh, or feeling a lack of something and saying, man, the grass sure looks green on the other side. So it could be a, a relationship situation where, um, like I said, you meet somebody that just like changes your whole perspective. Um, and it, you know, it changes everything. So you might be faced with the decision where you're like, should I take this risk or this opportunity? It's up to you, of course, but it just looks like you're being uh, guided to go through that gate. It's like go through the gate or that's going to end up being your decision. Like your curiosity is going to get the best of you. And I mean, that, that doesn't always have to be a bad thing, but it does seem like curiosity is going to get the best of you. Or you feel like you, you're being led to do something because it's part of your spiritual journey or your path. And here I'm just looking at there's a butterfly here or there's some sort of flying uh, creature or insect here. And then it's even bigger over here. So you definitely look like you end up following something or maybe something is like bait. Maybe something is just kind of like leading you. And before you know it, you're going through some sort of opportunity or gate. Even though with Angel of Balance here, I feel like this is something that you asked for. You're receiving your karma or your, uh, your just due. Again, it doesn't mean that it's something negative. It just seems like this is what is owed to you. I feel like you're also receiving some sort of gift. But it also looks like a spiritual gift. So your spiritual gifts could get unlocked over the weekend. Or that could be the whole purpose of you connecting with someone is because it's unlocking something. It's unlocking your fortune, spiritual fortune, love fortune, financial fortune. Yeah, I feel like that's what you're being led to. Even if it's just about spiritual awareness. So hopefully these messages uh, make sense for you. But feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.